So after we have gone through the planning process of our application, uh, the next step is to wireframe how the user will flow through our app. So as you can see, I've taken uh, the pages we came up with in the last step. Um, welcome, sign up, sign up, or sign in, sign up, etc. What we are going to do is use my wireframe uh, UI kit to mock up how the user is going to flow through our application. If you haven't already, go ahead and visit mckinseychild.me courses to pick up the course bundle that includes this wireframing kit uh, so that you can follow along. So the idea here is just to copy and paste uh, one of these templates that represents or that could represent uh, one of the pages on our application. It doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. Uh, it's just to quickly visualize how the user is going to flow through our app. So if you go down to the bottom, uh, you can copy the arrows and lines. So I'm just going to go Apple C to copy those over, and I'm going to uh, paste those in here. And I'll shrink them down a, a little bit. All right, so now that those are in, uh, let's copy one for the home page or the welcome page. So if we go up to the top, I know for the welcome page, I'm going to want a full image background. So I'm going to use one of these four that I'll probably have a headline uh, navigation and stuff. So this one represents it fairly close. So let's copy that and uh, paste that in. I already set up a grid uh, to use for this. So I'm just going to set that here, make sure it's lined up. That looks good. Then what I'm going to do is let me move this stuff over. I'm going to copy this little icon. Uh, this represents where the user is going to land on the site. So I'm just going to move that over here and then I'm going to copy this arrow, uh, rotate it. I'm using the E command to get it to the transform and then the V to go back. And then I'm moving it and then select the or hit the A key and select just these uh, anchor points. You can see. Select those, and then if you grab one of the anchor points, you can uh, hold shift and move those out. And let's do the same right here. That looks good. Let's just move this over to line it up. Beautiful. So a user lands on the home page. They'll see this. And then I'm just going to title this page. I'm just going to say um, home. Uh, let me shrink down the font size a bit and change the color. Hit the I to grab the eyedropper. All right, and let's move that right there. That looks great. Okay, so after the user visits the home page, they have a few different options. They could, one, uh, sign in or sign up, and then they could also go to the uh, podcast page and explore and discover various podcasts. So let's find a few pages that represent the sign in and sign up. So let's go down to the form section. Uh, this one is a good one for the sign in, and then this one could be the sign up. So let's copy both of those, paste those in. I'm going to put the sign up in this little box and then the sign in right here. Let's zoom in, make sure everything's lined up. That looks good. That looks good. Beautiful. All right, now uh, we want to represent that from the home page, you can access the sign up page. So let's copy this arrow right here, uh, hit the E key and then rotate it 90 degrees. That looks great. Now let's do the same down here, copy it. Oh, to copy, I am holding the option and dragging the option key and dragging on a Mac and then E let's rotate it again. All right, so I'm going to copy this and then I will put it right there, copy the same one. And then this will be the sign up or sign in page. Hit escape to get out of that and then sign up. To toggle the guides, I'm using command and colon. So that looks pretty good for now. So after they sign up or sign in, uh, they'll get routed to their dashboard page. So uh, let's go ahead and go back to the wireframing kit and find one that represents the dashboard. So on the dashboard, they're going to 
list through all the various um, podcast episodes, and then they'll be able to edit and delete and all that. Um, so I'm just going to grab one that represents that. Uh, this one looks pretty good. Let's go back to the user flow, paste that in, and bring up the guides. Beautiful. And then let's do the same thing with the arrows. Copy this one, and then copy this one. Great. And let's name it, call this the dashboard. Okay, so um, in addition to the sign up and the sign in page, uh, they'll be able to visit the podcast page because they won't need to be signed in um, in order to see that. So let's grab one that could represent the podcasts. I'm going to go up to the image gallery because I'm thinking we'll probably put this in a grid uh, with the cover image and maybe a little title and description for each podcast. Uh, so this one looks pretty good. Let's copy and paste that. And then let's line it up and call this uh, podcasts. All right, so I'm going to grab this little anchor point, uh, flip it around. So from the home page, let's grab these anchor points right here and drag it out. Um, I'm holding shift and dragging in order to do that. And then I'm going to copy this uh, arrow and I'm going to uh, right click, go to transform, reflect. And then I'm going to reflect it horizontal to flip it upside down. Perfect. And then let me center that arrow a bit. That looks great. Okay, so when they land on the home page, they can either sign up or sign in or go to the podcast page. So from the podcast page, where would they go? Well, you would uh, click on a podcast and then you would go to the podcast show page um, represented here or a podcast single page. And that would list through all the podcast episodes and give a little like title description of the podcast. So let's go to, you know what? This one could represent the podcast episodes. So I'm just going to use this one, bring up the guides again. Line that up. That looks great. All right. So from the podcast page, uh, you can go to the podcast show. So let's represent that you can get back and forth between them because we are going to have uh, breadcrumbs. So you can click on a podcast, go to the podcast show, or you can go back to all the podcasts and get back. So you can toggle back and forth between those. And then if you click on a podcast episode, you'd go to the episode page. So let's go and find one that represents that. So it would just be one episode with the MP3 player. None of these quite represent it perfectly, but this one, this one represents it fairly well because it will have a thumbnail and then a little description of it. So let's copy this and paste it in. And then again, let's uh, copy these arrows hit the E key and rotate it and then V to get out of that. All right, and let's be sure to name these two. So this is the podcast uh, single page. And then I'm going to copy this. And then this is the episode page. All right, this is looking pretty good. So next, uh, let's go back to the dashboard. From the dashboard, we'll be able to uh, do stuff like create a new episode, edit uh, the various episodes, um, go to the account settings. Um, so let's uh, represent that here. So I'm going to bring up the guides. Let's copy this arrow again. That looks good. So let's uh, get one to represent the new, the edit, and the account settings. So let's go back to all the all the templates. Let's go to the forms. Um, this one could represent the new and edit since they'll share the same form. And then this one could possibly be the account settings. So let's uh, copy both those. I'm holding, um, clicking on one, holding shift, clicking on the other, and then copying and command V to paste those in. Um, I'm going to tweak this one slightly. So I'm going to double click on it and then 
once I'm in the group, I'm going to select these and delete them. And then let's select the uh, forms and then deselect the outer content and center that. And then double click out of that to get out. That looks pretty good. Okay, so this could represent the edit and the new form. So let's put one for each. And then this could be the count settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this uh, little arrow and copy it again. On this one, I'll right click, transform, reflect, and go to vertical to flip it around. That looks good. Now let's uh, copy those, zoom in a little bit, copy the, or grab the, uh, these two anchor points, select the A key, and then select those two anchor points and drag it out. Beautiful. And let's do the same for this one. Beautiful. So from the dashboard, they'll be able to go to, let's be sure to name these. This could be the edit. This could be the new. And let's copy that again. And this could be account settings. So this looks fairly good. Our application is pretty simple for the most part. Uh, one last thing I would do is from the dashboard, uh, we'll also have navigation. We'll be able to access the um, podcast page. So I'm going to copy this, uh, right click, uh, reflect, and on the horizontal axis. And then let's put it up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these anchor points, drag it in, and then I'm going to select um, all of these anchor points, and then let's drag it down. And I'm holding shift while I drag. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's uh, delete these. Uh, let's go back and review, make sure we got all the pages. So we have the welcome page. Uh, if they sign up, they'll go to the dashboard. If they'll sign in, they'll go to the dashboard. Or they have the option to visit the podcast. And then from the podcast, they can view a single podcast. Or, And then from the podcast, they can uh, view a podcast episode. Uh, from their dashboard, they'll be able to create a new episode, uh, edit episodes, and see their account settings. Uh, so I think we have everything listed here. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so be sure to save this file, and in the next step, we will begin uh, the low-fidelity wireframing.